So following on from the previous exercise, I still have the same object selected and I have the bottom anchor point active. Now, if a anchor point has curvature assigned to it, the handles will then always reveal themselves on screen. So it's a case then of the anchor point is in the right place. It needs to be right in the middle of where the curve runs. That gives us the control we need on either side. Now you'll notice that if I hover my cursor over the end of the handle, it tells me that it is a handle. And if I click and hold down the mouse and drag that upwards, you'll notice that both the handles are connected together. Again, click and hold down the mouse and drag and move that down. So when you change the position of the handle, it changes the curvature on both sides by default. Now, if I just drag my handle up a little bit to make it level, you'll notice that we have too much curvature running down, well, both sides really. But what I can do is hover my cursor over the handle once more and then click and drag and pull it towards the anchor point. As you drag a handle closer and closer towards the anchor point that it's assigned to, it makes the path in the area look more and more like a straight line. So the longer the handle, the more extreme the curvature is. The shorter, the less the curvature will appear until it roughly matches the pencil sketch. Just drag that handle closer or further away from the anchor point. Notice that it only affects that one side. I can then take my cursor to the far right hand side handle, click and hold down the mouse and drag and pull that closer towards the anchor point like so. Now, when I say this, it might sound strange, but imagine that every anchor point that has curvature assigned to it is like the center of a clock face. We have at the center of our clock face and then the handle on the left hand side and the right hand side are rather like the minute and the hour hands. And at the moment, I would describe this as pointing at nine o'clock on the left hand side and three o'clock on the right hand side. However, if I hover my cursor over the handle on the right hand side and drag that and spin it round, so that the handles are pointing to what would be something like 12 o'clock and six o'clock notice that the direction of the curve changes as well. So you can lengthen and shorten the handles and you can also spin them around. The handles are really pointing in the direction where the path goes in and out of the anchor point. So because they're pointing up and down, now the path goes immediately above the anchor point at one direction and out the other side comes immediately down before being swept away towards where the next anchor point is. So in our case, I'm going to hover my cursor over the handle and click and drag and spin that back round so it's perfectly horizontal or as close as I can get that to a sign kind of nine o'clock, three o'clock position in there. Crazy analogy, but it tends to work quite well if you can think of it that way. Now modified, you can go up to view, choose preview. I can go back to my selection tool, click on that, and then click away from the path by clicking in an empty area of the artboard.